Hello, Albano. It's... Come stai? How are you? Everything oh, okay? I'm very well. A little bit stressed uh, because well, you are a big star and we I love your star. song. I am only a singer, no star. But I uh, saw you on the stage and that was amazing. Uh, so I guess you have a lot of emotion when you're singing. Yes, if uh, without emotion it's impossible to stay in life. Mm -hmm. That's true. Do you remember how does it all start when you become a singer? I started in uh, my first big success was in '67 with Nel Sole, but uh, before I make several, uh, <coughs> I would say training. Uh, I remember two years with Adriano Celentano, and then uh, with the Rolling Stones. I make uh, the first part of the tour when the Rolling Stones come in Italy. I make the first part with them. It was uh, good, uh, you know, good emotion, good uh, training. Uh, Great experience. How do you like Poland? Because it's not your first time in our country. I love it. I know several people say that Poland is the Italian, the Italy of this uh, uh, part of the world, you know. Oh, really? <coughs> yeah. That's a good thing, I think. I, I know uh, Bona Sforza come from South Italy, Bari, and she is the queen of uh, Cracovia and, uh, and more. Hmm. Well, actually we are from Warsaw, but it's okay, now we are in Krakow. And in 1998, uh, you were singing for our Pope, Jan Paweł II. Uh, do you remember uh, your emotion when you start to sing for him? I sing seven times for him, and each time was a great, great, um, impressive emotion. Um, I observe uh, a lot the Pope each time, and uh, he have two kind of uh, point of view. With one eyes, <coughs> he look inside of you, and with the other one, he look around, uh, and it was uh, all the time the same. Uh, I love this Pope. Seven times, and I remember one special time was in uh, Brazil, in uh, Rio de Janeiro. And he wake up afterwards and say, "Come on," because it's two stage: one for the singer, one for the pop, and the uh, cardinal, uh, etc. And he wake up, say, "Come on," and we go to him and uh, kiss to Romina, uh, brass to me. Well, Evviva Giovanni Paolo II, Santo. He was an amazing person, that's true. And uh, I'm going to ask about your song Felicità, because uh, the song Felicità has uh, more than 50 million views on uh, YouTube. Uh, when you start to make this song, have you ever think that it's going to be so amazing? Yes. Yes. When I hear the song, I don't write the song. It's, uh, the song I write about one of my friends and I said, this incredible song, simple but deep. And uh, was everywhere in the world one big hit. Thanks to God. Now I need the second Felicita. <laughs> no, I think there is one Felicita and it's amazing and uh, it's uh, always amazing thing because, you know, my parents and I will love this song and everyone loves it. And um, so tonight uh, you're going to get a prize uh, from ATV television or and also MTV24 television because of this song. Uh, yes, <laughs> I... I thought you were going to know about this. Well, this is the most popular uh, song in Poland, so how do you feel about it? I enjoy it because the music is a great therapy, is a great medicine. And uh, the medicine for the people is the same medicine I keep each day. And uh, I want to tell you, I feel okay. <laughs> when you compare the music, for example, 20 years ago and uh, for what happened now, what do you feel, think? What is the difference between music 20 years ago and now? When the music is great, it's uh, evergreen all the time. And the Felicita is one of the evergreen. And I enjoy it. I also enjoy it and everyone enjoy it. Uh, and did you watch uh, Eurovision contest yesterday? I don't watch, uh, but I see something. And uh, it was nice and great program. Uh, 
You know, the music is a, is a colant and make well all the people around the music. And yesterday, uh, you see the, what, what happened, no? I see only some piece when I was free. And uh, the people have a great uh, energy, and the singer with energy, the view was incredible, good. Viva l'Eurovisione. Have you seen uh, Michał Spak from Poland? Um, no. Oh, that's but, a bit, but you're gonna see it, I hope, on YouTube. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, because he was really, really amazing. I want to see also the the, uh, the girl who won from uh, Ukraine. Ukraine, yes. I don't, I don't see nothing. I see only Italy yesterday, but for casualty. Okay, so after the concert, I think you can see everything on YouTube. Now we have internet, so it's easier. Uh, you singing, but you also wrote uh, five books. Can you tell me how does it start that you start to wrote a book? Because somebody asked me, you want to write a book? And I say to myself, if several people write about me, why I don't do the same about myself? Because the two my two, nobody, no like I know. For this reason, I start and I make my my confession to the to the other one, to my fans, to the curiosity. For it was a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, hit book, literary hit in Italy. What is easier for you, singing or writing? For me, everything is easy. Oh, yeah. You're Italian, that's true. <laughs> yes, but not because I'm Italian. Everything is easy because when you make with love everything, it's easy. And um, you need all the time um, passion, passion and great passion. That's true. And uh, the last question is, who inspires you? The life. What happened in the world? Each day a new page of the, uh, the is a new page of the history of the humanity, and uh, you need to read uh, to see what happens. Something is uh, go inside, and in this case, I write music. Okay, thank you very much, and see you on the concert.